friends, welcome to story time. Story time, story time, welcome to story time, story time. I have a really special story for you today. It's called The Rocket Ship Bed Trip. Hmm, a trip on a bed into space? Oh, let's see what happens. This story is written by M. Jane Quackenbush. Tonight, my bed took off from my room. It raced through the sky, heading straight for the moon. Up, around, and beyond stars. Dipper. Past Venus, Mercury, and back to Mars. I look about and hold on tight as we zig to the left and zag to the right. Gravity is gone. My bunny floats out. Where are you going? I begin to shout. Floating deep into the night. Together we orbit like a satellite. From way up here, Earth seems so small. Or could it be that I'm this tall? Meteors and asteroids dart and dash. I twist and turn to avoid a crash. Nebulae here, exploding stars there. I see space junk. Look, there goes a chair. Wow, it's quite an adventure he's taking. The galaxies swirl and there are many stars that glow. I gaze and wonder, where do they all go? Stars are bright as any day. I must be on the Milky Way. Hmm, this makes me think of candies and caramel. So I take a whiff and begin to smell. Mmm. Morning coffee and breakfast tea. The whistling kettle awakens me. I open my eyes. My dream is over. The day has begun. It was just a dream. Wow, that was quite a dream. There are more pictures here. These photos of space were taken from a telescope. Look, there's Saturn, the Horsehead Nebula, the Moon, a comet, Jupiter, and the Whirlpool Galaxy. And it tells me here on the bottom of this story that if you would like to see more photos of space like this, you can go on your computer and join something called NASA Kids Club. And you can find that at nasa.gov. That sounds like it might be a lot of fun. 
Thank you for today, friends. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, bye-bye.